A very big welcome to everyone. I have a 12 by 12 layout for you and it's using the papers from Courtier Creations and the collection is called A Sunburnt Country. I'm going to be using this paper from the collection. It's paper 08A and I absolutely love both sides. It's side A and side B so lucky for me I've got two sheets of it so I can use both sides and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do some fussy cutting and I want to use what I'm going to call the reef so I took out my exacto knife and I'm just going to go around all those little leaves and all those waratahs and cut them all out so a bit of fussy cutting but with an exacto knife so didn't bore you with it all there it all is and I'm then going to take this paper which is side B of the same paper and I love how that looks the photo is not of very good quality. I took it from far away and it's just of my son walking with his granny and her dog Simmy and they were just coming home after they've crossed the what we call the troll bridge. I don't know if that bridge is called the troll bridge but that's why I've got that other little photo so you can actually see them coming as they're coming off the, the troll bridge. These photos are not the best quality. I actually took them from quite a distance away, but what I was trying to do was to capture the relationship between a grandmother and her grandson. So even though it's not a special occasion or anything, it's just them going on their morning walk or afternoon walk, whichever way, whichever one it may be, I can't remember. But it's I just wanted to capture that that everyday special moment that will one day become the the bigger picture one day you know you look back and you and you remember all those little walks or you know he might remember his walks with granny and his chats that he had with granny which is what I'm trying to achieve with my scrapbooking so I went through some I went through quite a lot of paper actually I edited a lot of it out but I got this piece of paper here it's just got some newsprint and it's from one of those Kaiser Craft paper pads and I'm going to be doing a little bit of ripping I was trying to get my photo to stand out from all the busyness that's happening behind it with those gorgeous papers and then these white edges were driving me batty so I got out my distress oxides and the color bundled sage and I inked all the edges I took out my humongous stack of scrap papers and I started auditioning all different papers to try to see what was going to help me get this photo to stand out from everything and so that your focus actually went to the photo and not to everything else that was around it. So as you can see I was pulling out lots of different things. I had these shells that I'd made for a previous layout. There was a few leftovers and I auditioned them but they don't really make it. That map of Australia is a die cut that we I got from oh from someone we did a a die cut exchange and that was one of the die cuts that I got and now I found this gorgeous scrap paper I love it and it was just perfect it had the right colors the colors went well with the background papers and the colors in the background papers and it just made everything pop so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Distress Oxide once again and ink all those edges. Don't worry, I don't bore you with that. And once that's done, I still needed something else to make it pop. So I got this corrugated paper and it's, it was just what it needed. It had The corrugated paper just added that extra texture and just made everything pop. And you actually it actually draws your eyes to the photo. So I'm just going to use my trimmer to trim that all down and quite liking how that looks. So what I did was with the little photo that you see to the side there. So I put that photo in because I wanted you to see the troll bridge and just to have the effect that, you know, they had walked home and crossed over the troll bridge. Now, please, I don't know if this is if this bridge is rich, uh, actually called the troll bridge, but it's what we've always called it. So I call it the troll bridge. So what I'm doing here is I did my title on my silhouette machine and the title is just going to be Every Moment Matters because that's how I feel that every moment does matter especially when you're reminiscing as a child it's these little things that land up being the bigger picture. So I took out an embossing pen and this one is an embossing pen from Ranger just went over my letters and I'm using a embossing powder that I had now originally I picked this embossing powder because I thought it was going to be like a beautiful burgundy color it didn't land up being that it landed up being more like a 
I don't know what colour it landed up being, but it was beautiful and it went really well and then helped to really make everything stand out. So my little map was the wrong colour, so I'm just using my bundled sage once again to, oh, well, colour my little map in. And I did lay down some gesso before I coloured it in, and then I've gone in with a brighter green. So time to add some finishing touches. And that little sticker says, let me see, it says little things. And then I'm going to add another little sticker on the bottom there. And that one says, remembrance of things to come. So really, this layout came together really quickly that is it so thank you all very much for watching and if you haven't hit that subscribe button i would really love to have you as a subscriber if you do like watching my layouts that is and here are some still shots so anyway thank you all so much and till next time take care everybody bye